Madam Mayor, Commissioners, U.S. Coast Guard, Chief Scott, Mission High School. Welcome to the new home of the legendary Phoenix, the Guardian, the St. Francis, your new fireboat station 35. This is only one of two floating fire stations in the entire world. It is a clear symbol of our ingenuity and of our importance that we place on resilience in this city. My name is Carmen Chu. I serve as San Francisco's city administrator. One of the most important responsibilities of my job is to make sure we continue to plan for the investments we need in our infrastructure, whether it is our public hospitals, our utilities, our fire stations, or this station right behind you. We know that when the time calls, when there is an emergency, we are better off as a city when we make these investments. And so I wanna thank all of you for being here today to celebrate in this wonderful and momentous day. I wanna thank all of the voters of San Francisco who has made possible, yes, who has made possible investments like this. We know we couldn't do it without them. And of course, we could not do it without our mayor, a person who formerly served as a commissioner of the Fire Commission, and now our mayor, she understands firsthand the importance of supporting our first responders and public safety. Mayor Breen. Thank you, Carmen. And I gotta say, it's really great to be here with each and every one of you because this has been a long time coming, Chief. In fact, when I served on the Fire Commission, I had a few specific goals and Tom O'Connor was the head of Local 798 and he asked for a lot of stuff at the time on a regular basis. But there were a few things that piqued my interest. Number one, Station 49 and we got it done. And number two, Station 35. And we finally got it done. And I am so excited and happy for the success of this project because the voters of San Francisco, they understand that when we come to them and ask for financial support for the seawall, for our public safety infrastructure, those don't seem like they're really exciting topics to talk about. When you start talking about utilities and underground and all of these things, you don't always see the nuts and bolts of infrastructure, but the voters understand the need to invest in public safety. Because the former station, as we know, was built after the 1906 earthquake in 1915. The city, we know, in 1906, after the earthquake, neighborhoods burned to the ground, and we didn't have sufficient support in terms of our infrastructure to help deal with those challenges. And we, we didn't just shrink and say, oh well, and throw up our hands, we built, and we built that station in 1915. And it served its purpose well. But now, as our city begins to grow, there's a need for some, something new. Because this fire station, in fact, the Phoenix, the Guardian, and what's the other one name? <laughs> the St. Francis. Those boats are the ones when there is a fire, like there was down at the pier, at Pier 45, I believe. Our trucks couldn't necessarily get to every corner of that fire, but you know what? The Phoenix was there. And the fact is, when there is an emergency on the water, yes, we are fortunate to be close to the Coast Guard, but we are usually the first on the scene to help save lives to help protect the waters, to protect our city along the bay. That's why this is so significant. This is gonna be a game changer for public safety. And I can't be more proud and grateful to the men and women of the fire department who 24 seven at station 35 continue to put their lives on the line. Yes, it's cool to be on a boat all day having a good time and being out here in the water, but let me tell you, when it's windy, it's nothing to play with. When it's 
a need out there on the waters, it is really challenging the work that they do. And so I appreciate not just the fire department, but the Department of Public Works for being the lead on finally getting this project done. And it was not easy, Carla. It was not easy, Chief, but we got it done. I'm looking at these two ladies, and, and, and the third lady here, Elaine Forbes and her port commissioners, Kim Brandon and others, they were like, well, we don't know if we want to give you guys this property or not for free. They didn't want to give it to us for free, but we got it done. And here we are, because we all work together. We work together because we understood the bigger picture and the significance of what this means, not just for the city, but for the port and everything that exists here. And on top of that, an art installation. An arts installation to remind us of our history, of what's important. Because we can't forget the past. We can't forget the challenges of what existed in this city along the bay. We have to remind people of that so they understand the importance of this infrastructure and the need to continue to build in San Francisco. We have a growing population. But at the end of the day, we know Chief Scott, Chief Nicholson, our firefighters, our police officers, and our other safety personnel, our paramedics, we know that they will be there for us. And as we begin to reopen after two very challenging years of a global pandemic that none of us saw coming, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that the next generation, the folks from Mission High School, that we are doing the work to lay the foundation so that these young people growing up in our city, learning about what it means to serve and protect the residents of San Francisco, I am hopeful that we do our jobs in building a pipeline so that they become the men and the women that you see here today. That's what San Francisco is all about. Opening the doors to opportunity, building, evolving, and making things stronger. And today, as we celebrate the opening of Station 35, we are reminded of that hope more than ever. So we appreciate you all coming here today, and we look forward to cutting the ribbon and getting this station open. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Mayor Breed. You're always a tough act to follow. And uh, thank you, Sister MC Carmen Chu. Um, I want to say uh, a special thank you to um, the voters, again, who voted for this bond. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. But um, greetings and salutations to everyone here, electeds, uh, other department heads, our fire commission, port commission, I am your fire chief, Janine Nicholson. Now, we love our old firehouse, don't we? We love that old firehouse and the history and the memories it contains. All of us have at least one story about working there. Some of us, many more. Um, but she's been so good to us over the years, but she's tired. She is tired. So she's still going to be in service with our fire engine. Um, but we are really excited to be here making new memories and new history with our new floating fire station. Our members live in our buildings 24-7, 365. So we want to ensure there is the proper environment for them so they can do their jobs to the best of their abilities. I want to say thank you to everyone who worked on this project, from Public Works, Magdalena Rayor, to the architects and contractors on down, to every person swinging a hammer, putting in a floor, putting in some electrical. Thank you for your diligence and your care in getting this done. Much appreciated. Also to Walter Hood for the uh, incredible artwork that um, brings our history forward. I also want to give a quick shout out to our former Assistant Deputy Chief of Support Services, 
the man with the hair, Tony Rivera, who had a big part in this back in the day. Thanks for being here, Tony. So in our history from well before Loma Prieta, um, our fireboats have been really important. And now we've seen an ever increasing um, call for service, need for services in the bay, whether it be fires or people in the water. And this station will enable our members to continue to bring the best service to the people in San Francisco because that's what the San Francisco Fire Department does. That's what we're here for. We are here for you. So this station will serve the bay, the water, as well as the streets because we have our fire engine here, engine 35. So as always, we stand ready to help wherever we are needed. I know that about all of you, every single one of you in uniform over there, and thank you. To the members of Station 35, this is your baby now, and I know you will take great care of her. So thank you again, everyone. And if you have not been inside, it is pretty amazing. You need to get a tour. Um, it wants me to uh, quit my job as a chief and go back down to uh, demote myself back down to captain so I can be the captain of the station and, uh, you know, have my last year or two there. But uh, don't worry, I won't, Mayor. I'm not going anywhere right now, all right? <laughs> um, and now I would like to introduce my uh, sister partner at Public Works, uh, Interim Director Carla Short. Sister, it's all you now. Thank you, Sister Chief Nicholson. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I too want to take a moment to thank the voters. As everyone has said, we could not do these projects without your support. When you look around us, you see a picture postcard view of San Francisco. We have the ferry building, the Bay Bridge, the beautiful Bay. And now we have a new iconic image to add to that postcard, the new fireboat floating behind us. As Carmen said, this fireboat also represents what makes San Francisco a world-class city, our ongoing strategic commitment to strengthen our resiliency. You have all heard this project was no easy undertaking. It needed the approval of no fewer than nine regulatory agencies. Anyone who has worked with a regulatory agency knows that's not easy at the local, state, and federal levels. It was built on two different continents and constructed during the peak of a pandemic that affected both supply chains and labor. And yet, despite these challenges, here we are today to celebrate this tremendous achievement. I do wanna take just a moment to publicly acknowledge the team from Public Works that helped deliver this beautiful project. Our city architect, Ron Alameda, Charles Hugueras, Project Manager Magdalena Ryer, Pano Ray, Edward Ryan, Sean O'Brien, Kelly Griffin, and Vito Vanoni. Their dedication was crucial to ushering this project through to the end. And this was a design-build project with private partners. So a quick thank you to SKA, Swinnerton, Power Engineering, Life, Lift Tech, and GHD, and all the men and women in the construction trades who built it. I also want to thank Mayor Breed, City Administrator Chu, and our partners at the Fire D Department, Sister Chief Nicholson. Together, we are one city working collaboratively to create a better, stronger city to serve San Francisco today and into the future. One last plug for the beautiful piece of artwork. It is so amazing. It has the history. It's shaped like the bow of a ship. And I want to acknowledge Ralph Remington, who is here with us today from the Arts Commission. And now, please allow me to welcome our Executive Director of the Port, Elaine Forbes. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. I am Elaine Forbes, the Port Director. And the first thing I want to say to the mayor is we didn't do it for free. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a free agreement. <laughs> yes. 
But we so enjoyed working with the fire department to see this through. The Phoenix actually was the port of San Francisco's vessel. Our uh, State Harbor of Engineers saw it important to bring fire protection from the water way back. Uh, when the fire department uh, took over, we, uh, donate, we gave the Phoenix for $1. So that was a very kind, and since that point, we've had an excellent uh, relationship with the fire department protecting our peers. And Commissioner Brandon is with me today, and she will remember we've had many fires. We had Pier 45, Pier 29, Pier 48, and that's just in recent memory. And the, these fire boats were there to protect us. And now I'd like to say a few words to the students at Mission High. We have an existential threat of sea level rise. It's coming on us, and your generation is going to deal with it even more than we are. But the leaders here today are being innovative. This vessel will float as the tides rise, so she'll be here to stand the test of time. And we at the port, under the leadership of Mayor Breed, are working on our seawall. And City Assessor Carmen Chu is going to make sure that we get it done over time. But it's a generational investment. And I want you all to see, hear that today because we are preparing you to take it on. And this harbor will be changing and will be resilient and strong. All the thank yous were given already. I don't want to repeat them because you know them. But I do want to say thank you again. We're honored to be here and get us to the ribbon cutting and the tour of the facility. Thank you so much. And turn it over to Assessor Carmen Chu. Thank you very much, Elaine. And so with that, I wanna thank all of our honored guests for being here today. I think all of us are ready to go cut the ribbon, right? Oh, I don't, that doesn't sound enthusiastic. Are we ready? All right. I want to make sure, of course, to recognize the folks who are here before we head over. Of course, Commissioner Nakajo, Covington, Brandon, and Morgan, thank you very much for being here. Chief Scott, thank you for being here. Ralph Remington, Director of Arts Commission, thank you for being here. And all of our honored guests, why don't we head over to the plank over here and we will cut the ribbon. Thanks so much. All right, all right.